What's going on everybody? Today I'd like to talk about a topic in Gears of War 3 that is a rather heated topic and being that it's already January 2012 I'm pretty late on this topic but better late than never I always say. So I've been wanting to give my thoughts about this for a while but wanted to make sure I got everything all the way I wanted it and didn't want to sound too angry at Epic and this decision they made but still I'm gonna give my thoughts and feelings on this topic. Gears of War 3 weapon skins. When Gears of War 3 beta was released and the game was being... Now keep in mind, all of this is just from a casual, normal perspective. I didn't go on Epic forums, I didn't dig too much, but Epic did promise us weapon skins in the game. And in the beta, there were quite a few weapon skins to choose from, and I had assumed all these weapon skins I had seen were going to be unlockable. And that's just normal assumption. You see something at a game, you pay $60 for a game, and you assume these things are going to be unlockable in the game. Well, Epic did something a little different. I was originally very excited about this, but when I saw what they did, was extremely disappointed. There are only seven free weapon skins, eight as of now, but I'm going to stick with the seven that were released with the game, which are Gold, Chrome, Crimson Omen, Flame, Onyx, Gold Omen, and Team Insignia. And you can find out how to unlock these if you don't know just by doing simple searches or checking up on the game itself. And this is a pretty decent lineup of skins. It's not bad. It's really not bad. The other, the eighth one that I've seen and a few others that have been released since long are like Ghost Protocol, I believe. There's a way to unlock that without having to pay for it. And there are, of course, uh, DLC where that falls into paying and kind of kind of a different subject. Like DLC, that's, that's DLC that was released later to keep the game going, give it more life. That's different. However, there were a considerable amount, a good handful of skins that were released with the game on the disc but you had to pay for them. And I find this to be really weird that I just paid for a brand new game and don't have everything already unlocked. It's like they've already pre-made DLC and are trying to sell it at release day. That's just a real disappointment and kind of um, slap in the face to your fans. It's very, it's not very nice. It wasn't cool at all. So essentially what you're seeing right now are the weapon skins that are on the disc they were with the game on launch day, but you had to pay for these. So, if you want to find out the names of all these or something you see, you can of course look it up. I might put a names of all these in the description, but probably not. So, there are kind of two categories of weapon skins here. There's animated skins and still skins. And these still skins run for 240 Microsoft points each. The animated skins run for 320 Microsoft points each. Now, let's just do a little quick and simple math here. If 80 Microsoft points equals $1 and 160 Microsoft points equals $2, then 240 Microsoft points equals $3. So the still skin weapons are 240 Microsoft points equaling to $3. That's that's a little bit of money for just a, sim a simple weapon skin. You do get the weapon skin for all the weapons, but that's just what I'd expect. But $3 for a weapon skin. And then doing the math a little bit further, 320 Microsoft points equal $4 for the animated weapon skins. Now that's quite a bit of money. We're skimming the brim of $5 there, and at least to me, the casual gamer and the, you know, normal middle class working person, that's quite a bit of money. And not something I can just casually throw away on something as small and as forgettable as a weapon skin. Although I admit they're cool and we've been a great addition to the game, paying this much more money for something that should have been with the game to begin with, it's, it's not right. It's just wrong. And there is a weapon skin bundle for 3,600 Microsoft points, which, if you do the math long enough, will equivalent to $45. $45 to get all of these as a pack, because if you were to buy them all individual, they would cost somewhere around $52, $53. Now you're almost buying a brand new game. Surely by now, even if you're a huge fan of Epic, you can see my problem with this. I think everyone was very upset when this has happened, when everyone did the math and figured out that, hey, this to buy the weapon skin bundle to get all these that were on the game when they shipped and to buy them all would cost $45. That's more than a third of the price of the real game. That's that's ridiculous. I can't even believe that. That's it's It really feels like we've been cheated. And by a company that I felt was pretty solid, where someone like Activision for their Call of Duty games were charging quite a bit of money, more money than anyone else at the time was charging for map packs because they knew they could get it. And I'm not sure if Epic just got a bloated head or someone up top decided, hey, we can probably make a lot of money off this. And no doubt they probably did, more than they would have if they hadn't charged for this. But this is just, it was sad. I felt like we really got ripped off. The bottom line is, we did get ripped off. The DLC for the weapon skins costing more than a third of the game. It's, that's unbelievable. Something on the disc that was more or less promised in the final release of the game was charged for. I think Epic just got greedy, and it just shows disrespect to the fans and the hardcore fans of Gears of War. 
So that's pretty much my idea on it, doing the math, the simple math to see what actually happened, what came of it, and kind of the fact that no matter what size you're on, it's pretty much a ripoff. Most of us in this day and age don't have that much money to spend on these kind of things. So that's pretty much my two cents on the Gears of War 3 weapon skins. I know it's very late, but I still wanted to get it out no matter what. But as always, I value your opinion, so let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty unchanged in my decision on how I feel about this. But as always, I'll hear out someone else's ideas and thoughts and what they think about it. But in the end, this is a huge disappointment and a ripoff to fans. So I thank you guys for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you later.